Hey everyone, my name is David and welcome back to the Carpe Sweat Series. This week's episode, episode number nine, is everything you need to know about ionophoresis. So last week's episode, episode number eight, we talked about November and Hyperhidrosis Awareness Month, the impact that hyperhidrosis has on people's lives and treatments available to those people. So this week we have an awesome story from Natalie in Seattle. She reached out and said that hyperhidrosis has had a severe impact on her life. It's just, it's been this massive weight on her shoulders for an extremely long time. A burden and she felt alone, she felt constricted, she felt like she couldn't leave the house and, and do things that normal people do, like go have fun on dates. She felt like she was all alone and she didn't have anyone to talk to. Finally, she, she started looking for solutions, talked with dermatologists, tried Botox injections, tried ionophoresis, really didn't like either. Um, she started on anticholinergics and those started working well for her, uh, but now she and her husband are actually looking to start a family, which is really exciting. Congratulations, Natalie, and your husband. I don't know your name, but congratulations to you and, and your family. You know, but when thinking about having a baby, she was really concerned about the potential side effects that anticholinergics could have. So she started looking again, and that's when she found Carpe. And she reached out and, you know, in addition to telling us her story, told us how thankful she was uh, for how incredibly well Carpe works, how easy it is to use, how simple and effective it is. She was just raving about Carpe and the, and the impact that it's had on her lives and how excited she is to continue to use it and to be able to, you know, build a family. Um, and, and tell everyone else that she knows about Carpe as well. So uh, that's Natalie's story. My embarrassing story for the week uh, dates back to my junior year in organic chemistry class. This was 2016. We were studying stereochemistry. Stereochemistry is essentially uh, the area of orgo that looks at the uh, spatial configurations of atoms. I had read the book before class and I was prepared and I was so excited. The professor, Professor Kropp, asks about the difference between R and S. And R and S are essentially uh, designations to describe the stereo center of that configuration. R stands for rectus and S for sinister. And Professor Croft asks about S and you know, I, I just froze. I, I froze and I forgot the answer. I was like, oh, no, I, I was prepared for this. I wanted to, I wanted to show Croft that, that I had studied the book and someone else answers it, you know, S is sinister. And I'm like, all right, R is mine. R is rectus. R is rectus. R is rectus. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. He asks, all right, class, you know, what's R? I shoot my hand up so confidently, and he looks at before he even says my name, I just yell out, rectum! Rectum. And everyone in the class just dies. And I had no idea what I did because I thought I got it right. And I just sat there. And then my friend looks at me, he just goes, dude, you just said rectum. <laughs> And that was pretty embarrassing. That happened. Uh, I've never lived that down and, and never will live that down. Enough about that. Let's get to this week's episode. Everything you need to know about ionophoresis. So with ionophoresis, you have this small little tray. And on the tray, you put a little tap water and then it sends electrical currents through the ionized substance, which in this case is the tap water, uh, into and kind of through your eccrine sweat glands in your palms and in your soles. So ionophoresis is really only uh, focused on your hands and your feet. That's where your eccrine sweat glands are and that's, those are really the only two parts of your body that you can put in a tray. But you know, you put your hands in the tray or you put your soles in the tray, you run the electrical currents through the tap water and then it kind of like shocks the sweat gland and we don't actually understand the mechanism by how uh, ionophoresis reduces sweat. It's, it's completely a mystery, um, and science hasn't really been able to provide any definitive evidence as to how it works, uh, but it has been proven to be effective. The biggest challenge with ionophoresis is the inconvenience. So in order to do this, you need to put your hands, your, your palms or your soles, in the tray that's sending electrical currents through the, through the tap water, through the ionized substance, for about 30 to 40 minutes, at least three nights every single week uh, for a pretty extended period of time. And so it's very inconvenient. You know, you can't really travel with it and it's, it's a lot of time because if you sweat in your hands and your feet, that's, you know, 30, 40 minutes on your hands, 30, 40 minutes on your feet. Um, if you have a tray that's big enough for both of, uh, both of your hands or both of your feet. And in addition to the inconvenience that's, that's hard for a lot of people, it also costs a, a lot of money. So it's about a thousand dollars for an ionophoresis machine. Um, and usually you, you need to go see a dermatologist uh, before you get one. So if you're interested in ionophoresis, it has been proven to be effective for hands and feet. It's usually seen as a third line treatment. First you try you know, over-the-counter antiperspirants. If those don't work for you, then you can try prescription antiperspirants. And then this is kind of seen as a, as a third line therapy if other things aren't working for you just because of the cost and the inconvenience. But you go see a dermatologist and what dermatologists may do sometimes is actually put anticholinergic drugs 
in the tap water, in the solution that the electrical current is running through. And what that does is it, it allows it, the ionophoresis machine essentially serves as a delivery vehicle uh, for the anticholinergic medicine. So it'll deliver like micro amounts of anticholinergics into your bloodstream, which will help reduce overall sweating. So ionophoresis machines have been proven to be effective. They can just be pretty inconvenient and costly. Um, if you're interested, you should go see a dermatologist, ask him, ask her about ionophoresis machines, and they may actually put anticholinergic into the solution, which will deliver some of that anticholinergic drug into the bloodstream and help reduce overall sweating. So in that case, in addition to the electrical currents that are sent through the, through the eccrine glands, um, it also actually serves as a delivery vehicle for the anticholinergic drug, uh, which has been shown to be effective. So in this episode, we went over ionophoresis machines, what are they, how they work, which is limited knowledge. We don't actually fully understand how they reduce sweat, but we do know that they do reduce sweat, so they are effective. Uh, some of the cons of ionophoresis, the inconvenience, um, you know, 30, 40 minutes every night for at least three nights a week, um, and hard to travel with in the cost. Um, and then you, know, you also need to go see a dermatologist to, to try it out. And that pretty much wraps up everything you need to know about ionophoresis. So uh, please subscribe to, to our YouTube channel, Carpe Lotion. Shoot me an email at david at carpelotion.com. Check out our website, uh, www.carpelotion.com or the Sweat Encyclopedia. Sweatopedia is also hosted on that site. Uh, there's a lot of information and content about hyperhidrosis treatments um, and, and the condition overall. And uh, with that, thank you so much and we'll see you next week. Have a good one.